All right, part two. So something went wrong with the chat. So uh, I kind of finished off the uh, basic ones, the fresh metal ones. And uh, so I suggest we start looking at some of the nicer ones now. Maestro design and that kind of stuff. So before Maestro design, there was these All Stars ones. So let's take a look at these. So this is pretty old or relatively old, 2014. So Elite Transport Maestro Wrecker with the 2006 Dodge Magnum RT. Yeah, facts. Round two. Yeah, I don't know what happened, man. Uh, uh, at some point, I could not read the comments anymore, or they didn't show. So I kind of finished off the um, basic ones, and uh, now we're going to look at the more premium stuff. So you got the uh, police wrecker, it feels pretty light, Misto wrecker it says on the base, sorry. Yes, the video just stopped and started to play the next, really, oh that's really weird. I think uh, YouTube is uh, thinking I'm uh, doing my uh, live shows too long, taking up too much time. So we got rubber tires, it seems. Hey, JK, welcome back. So we're at uh, the more premium uh, Maestro stuff now. Premium, like this. It feels pretty light. Uh, I think the cab is metal, but these wheel arches are plastic and the whole back is plastic, you know. It kind of kind of looks cool, you know, this thing goes up like that. Got some detail to it. <laughs> Diecast dude. I thought it was the notorious Belgian internet connection. Yeah, I did not lose connection. Uh, well, not more than usual, I should say. Uh, for me, it just kept on going. So I'm, I'm very interested to see um, when it uploads what actually will have been uh, in the live. Because I just kept on going showing all the uh, basic ones so we'll see what uh, what is uh, left of the the initial video the first one well uh, yeah we'll see german internet is not better <laughs> yeah dodge magnum rt this is a very cool one station wagon so Right up my alley, very fat tires on it, some exhaust detail. And tempo is all around, you get a light bar that has some color on it. Internet traffic uh, everywhere nowadays, yeah, lots of people at home. Online, so yeah, this is a nicely detailed piece. Got some chrome on the inside. And then let's see if it actually works, yeah. It does work. Australian internet is worse than, worse than any, anywhere facts. Well, seems like we all kind of suffer from bad internet. Then we got the next one, still uh, 2014. The COE, so cab over engine flatbed with the Infinity G35. Got these stickers everywhere. You have a comp competition for the worst internet, yeah. <laughs> kind of looks like it. I'm going to grab my knife here. Because uh, these stickers are kind of hard to, uh, to get open. <laughs> yeah, I'm winning so far today. That is uh, 
That is true. So, uh, again, feels pretty light. Only this little cab here is metal, the rest is plastic. So it does seem to slide out and tilt, so that's cool. So UK has a good uh, internet connection. At least we have one civilized country with good internet connection. It's even got a trailer hitch. Rocket brake. Got uh, a lot of tempos on it. Very cool with the uh, double axle in the back. And then we got the 2004 Infinity. Lots of All-Stars stickers on the windscreen there, or windshield. Hey, I'm Monaco McLaren, welcome back. I don't know what happened, but uh, yeah. Uh, my internet was still working, but I could not see the comments anymore at some point. So I just kept on going and showed all the basic ones. And now we're at the more premium ones. So let's see if I can demonstrate this here like that then you can drive it on so yeah works pretty well you know pretty cool and then the last elite transport so the uh, older ones 2014 still the missile tow flatbed with the lamborghini murcielago roadster uh, we, uh, wi-fi look but like I said, uh, my screen was showing, I still had internet, uh, I still had uh, the, the timer. There's a timer on here when you're doing a live in the left corner. The timer was saying I was still live, so very strange. And uh, yeah, I could, it showed that uh, there's, there were still people. Uh, watching went down from 30 to 20 people and then suddenly it restarted and everything was at zero so and that was right at the end of the um, the basic ones yeah probably the, the wi-fi is not uh, strong enough let's look at the uh, flatbed first again Double wheels in the back. Got a nice red light on top. And yeah, the glitches, yeah, that's the same as always. But uh, the, the live feed crashing, that is a, that is a new uh, addition to the, uh, the live problems. Also has a trailer hitch. Yeah, they're pretty cool facts. Oh, first look at the car before I drive it on. So we got some blue paint here on the on the rocker panels and on the front bumper. Kind of cool. Don't care much for the chrome steering wheel, but you know. There you go. Then we get to Maestro Design. So the same principle, principle and some of the same uh, castings, I think, but just a different name under the uh, Maestro Design name, but still called Elite Transport. International Durastar flatbed with the Zion XB. 2016. Okay, we got the stickers.
So this is a licensed one. That's the uh, international. So pros. Got the separate light bar on top. Oh, this is kind of, yeah, kind of wiggly wiggly. But it does the trick, I guess. So here we got the Scion. That's pretty cool, you know. I have a few from Matchbox. It's got the, the woofers in the back and the speakers. Like that. Then we got 2017. The Maisto flat with the Volkswagen Van Samba. Yeah, Zion is um, is American for Toyota. <laughs> no, that's not right. That's not correct. Uh, I think it's kind of a brand they created in the US for young people to uh, get them to buy Toyota cars because Toyota often has a kind of a kind of a old people. Uh, um, ring to it. it certainly has here in, the, in Europe I guess it's probably the same in the, in the States So the Maisto flatbed, so this is not licensed. Got the light on the back here. So this one does not really, oh yeah, it does tilt, but you have to pull it back far enough. How many old people buy a Supra? <laughs> Well, because it's a pretty expensive car, I think, uh, more than you would uh, think. Uh, how many young people have the money to, uh, to buy a Supra, you know? Uh, let's look at the Samba van. Orange windows, I do not care much for. So this one we saw with, with Burago. This kind of should open up, but problem is you have to oh yeah there you go so you got a chrome engine there they all kind of scrape in the front but you know that's probably always the case with every kind of set you make for these The roof seems to be a plastic insert, look. So this is metal and this feels plastic. So just has the engine cover that opens. Next one, 2017 still. The Mixo Wrecker with the Volkswagen Beetle. Yeah, look, <laughs> it only opens once, yeah. And then it's broken, that's right. So we already saw the Maisto Wrecker with the, in the police livery. So this one we've already seen. I saw that this thing goes up and down. It's got Julie's in the back and then here's the bug VW Beetle it says on the base so these are pretty nicely detailed 
They did not save on paint. 164 scale, no, this is more three inch. This is, uh, some will be 155, some will be closer to 164, I think, but yeah. This is uh, definitely three inch. But it's a nice set, you know, and it works, that's cool. So it's got uh, some play value in it. Hey, uh, Saul, welcome. So, this is 2018. International Durstar flatbed with the VW Beetle Cabriolet or convertible. So the second time we see the International Durstar flatbed. Yes, packaging says uh, 164 uh, often, like this one here. But uh, it's uh, obviously it is not. Oh, this one does not have the stickers. That's cool. That's cool. So you can just open it up without using the knife. Yeah, not a really cool combo. You know, in fact, uh, I will pick out these kind of combinations. Yeah, I think it uh, that's kind of the downside of starting later. Um, the um, American viewers can join in, although it's very early for them, but then um, New Zealand, and then it's already around midnight, I guess. 1 a.m. for him, facts, thanks. So yeah, that's uh, pretty late. So yeah, you win some, you lose some, I guess. Uh, I had a lot of, well, a lot. I had some requests from uh, American viewers to join the the uh, live stream. So that's kind of why I started a little bit later. And then also I wasn't uh, ready. Uh, I was ready at uh, half past one instead of 12. And uh, yeah. And here's the... Beetle, uh, what's that? Yeah, it froze. Uh, I could not see the comments anymore at one time. And uh, so I asked, uh, are you guys all uh, gone uh, silent or uh, what is it? And then uh, I started realizing, very nice detailed engine this. Started re realizing something went wrong, but the timer still, still went going. So I thought, for uh, upload purposes, I finish the basic ones and then I do a separate one on these uh, more uh, premium ones. So I have kind of a, yeah, a basic video and a premium video. Kind of a strange uh, roll bar here. But anyways. Then still 2018, the Porsche Cayenne pulling a trailer with a Porsche 918 Spider on it. This one, the glue is letting go, it seems. Yeah, New Zealand has a very uh, small population. Uh, I, uh, I read that somewhere. But Australia, there's not very many people in Australia either, I think. The Mustang Dragster and truck you sent, facts you have it on display, that's cool. So the Cayenne Turbo, these trailer hitch things, they look really silly with Maisto. Uh, but you know. So these wheels are pretty nice, I must say. Three million in New Zealand and 25 million in Australia. Thanks, M-Dog. Well, for such a big country, 25 million isn't much, you know. We have 11 million people in uh, one of the smallest country in Europe here, where I live, so.
Full details on the back. Um, I have a Hot Wheels version, but uh, not in this livery, so uh, I uh, I can't show you that one. Well, the other the Hot Wheels ones I have, the other ones are upstairs, so I cannot uh, grab them now. Maybe if I do a 918 Spider video, I will put them next to one another. And here's the trailer, all plastic. How many sheep in New Zealand? <laughs> <laughs> Monaco, they are all too bad now, so they can't defend themselves. <laughs> uh, so yeah, nice trailer, but you know, it's all plastic, so. And this one, yeah, also scrapes, that's okay. It looks good. <laughs> Funny facts. So these all roll. And this is the only American one I have. 2018 also. The Ram truck with the 1957 Chevrolet Bel Air gasser. Thanks, facts. Ooh, this this one is really tucked in there. Look at that! You got the plastic wrapped around the uh, the top. So. So the gasser is proper, 164 service channel. Wow, cool. Did you compare it with a uh, a true 164 scale version? Bruce McLaren. Is he from the uh, McLaren cars and the racing cars? Yeah, he must be. Okay, you did the numbers, cool. So you got small ones in the front and big ones in the back, like it should be. Yeah, proportionate maybe indeed, it's not, uh, it's maybe not 100% correct, but if you say it's, uh, it's correct lengthwise. <laughs> Nachos. So this one is a little bit in the air. The car pushes it down. You drive it on. Got one more that is in a window box. This one. Mercedes Benz G Class with the car trailer. This, uh, well, I can't see the date, I think it's 17. So, let's see if we can. Uh... So, I've shown the, the G Class in my uh, G Class video, the anniversary video, I think it was. You guys still there because I can't see the comments anymore again. Don't tell me it's happening again. That would be a bummer. Says Ben's G Class. Oh, okay, you're still there. Cool. Thanks, Saul, for letting me know. Because now every time I don't see comments, I'm uh, going to uh, start panicking. <laughs> So yeah, pretty cool model, 
filler hitch is uh, kind of ugly. And then we ha have the box trailer. I don't know if this opens up in the back. Kind of looks like it. Just uh, trying to. Uh, yeah, there we go. So it seems to have a metal base. So facts, I can still read your comments, but oh, hey, David Harper. Yeah, I'm very late. Uh, that's because we had some technical difficulties. Um, I uh, I started. I was I was ready at um, uh, half past one here at noon. So an hour and a half later than usual, and I. Uh, programmed it for two o'clock in the afternoon because I kind of want to want to have give the American viewers also a chance to join in although it's still very early there and but I know for you David Harper it's uh, it's the latest of all because it's uh, past midnight there for you but uh, yeah we had some technical difficulties too so or still having probably So I guess we can kind of drive a car in there too, possibly, like that. 1.23 a.m. Oh yeah, that's really late. So there you go, like that, it works. So you didn't stay up uh, to watch uh, the live, didn't you, David? single packaging yeah <laughs> David they've been laughing with uh, and in the chat with some uh, they've been telling some New Zealand jokes so uh, I hope you're not offended oh you had already gone to bed so well very nice of you to get up again I am I'm really honored so the 1955 Chevrolet Nomad station wagon. So, you know, when I saw that, I had to have it. Uh, 2016. And it's got the stickers again. Oh, man. Annoying. Well, you know, facts. It's a bit like with um, Flemish and Dutch people. We also have uh, a lot of jokes on one another. And I think it's the same with the Australians and the uh, New Zealanders. Uh, so yeah, I think you are bound to get that when you are close to one another and you speak pretty much the same language with some uh, accents, difference maybe, cool engine bay you kind of get that, uh, yeah, rivalry, I guess. Anne's expert, I don't know what that means, uh, Monaco. Yeah, you're right, JK. Everyone makes jokes of their neighbors. It just shows we care, that's true. That is true, facts. Got a roll cage in it too. Aussies speak more US accent, really? Didn't know that. Nice flat black top. Cool. And then we got this one Exotics 4 pack. Oh yeah, and you got the Tasmanians too. Oh man. 2018. So let's see if we can get this one out to open. Ha! 
Hey Crooked Garage, welcome back again. Um, okay, so there's a lip here. Oh yeah, we're out. So we got the 2017 Ford G. Exotics license plate. The interior is too dark to show. Yes, the tires are horrendous. That's right, uh, JK. I agree with you on that one. The 2012 Acura NSX concept. <laughs> David is um, is uh, on fire with the uh, getting back at the uh, Kiwi jokes. The Watso Flying Buttress, uh, Silver's Channel, sorry. Oh, Crooked Garage, you just came at the end of the previous live stream. Uh, did, so you were able to, to do uh, participate in the chat or was it already uh, blocked? It's obviously been cut off for a reason. <laughs> the Lamborghini Centenario so we saw this in the Brago livery uh, two weeks ago Got some silver here on top. And then we got the 918 Spider in a very vibrant blue color. It's got the same rims as the, the other one I showed. Okay, Crooked Garage. Less detailed in the back here than the the white one. See, this one's much more detailed in the back. The engine detail. Oh, David, yeah, you're probably going to back to work again. So yeah, better get back to bed then. Hey, David Jones. Glad you're back too. Good night, David Harper. Yes, these are uh, more premium ones. Quirky Garage have rubber tires and uh, they have more details to them. They have an interior. Okay, anything else someone wants to see? We still have these army things, the forces ones, the pullback cars. Oh, yeah, maybe I still have these. These fresh metal ones, this five pack. Does anyone want to see that? I have the uh, Harley Davidson ones. I'll definitely open up these. Show you the packaging. Got a Volkswagen official licensed product sticker. It's got the same color windows as we saw on the blue one. See? Same wheels, but nicer. They're nicer in black. Kind of a Fuchs style wheel, you know. Got the Harley Davidson logo on the roof, too. Yep, opens up, uh, not as far as the other one it seems. 
so I can't really show much of the detail in there, a little bit. Cool. And we got the beetle, same packaging. You have the whole set of the uh, Holly Davidson ones, David Harper? That's cool. I know the Nomad also comes in that set. So uh, if I hadn't gotten this one, I would have gotten the uh, Holly Davidson one. Cool. Um, what else do we have here? I think no one is interested to see this thing opened up. Uh, also got this one, Muscle Machines, the original. This also says Maisto here. 164 scale, yeah, right. It's kind of a tuned version of uh, a 1932 Ford Roadster. Uh, hello, uh, Andre. Uh, it says 24 viewers here on my screen. But you know, that's not hardly ever correct, I think. You found a whole case, uh, David Harbour. Eight each. Oh, that's kind of pricey. I don't know what I paid for them. I don't I remember. I only paid four hours for something. But yeah, in Euro, of course. So uh, they had uh, all of these. I only picked one as an example. But you know, don't care much for it, actually. Just wanted to show it in this video. Kind of to have a... Yeah, dedicated viewers, uh, Monaco. That's true. I kind of want to have a, an example of uh, as much stuff as I could grab. Here we have Custom Shop Diecast Collection. So this is a little bit older stuff. Lamborghini Gallardo. Oh, you have the charge effects. Cool. 2008 copyright. So these blister ones, kind of harder to open. Uh, here we got the Players series, the uh, Porsche Cayenne Turbo. This is 2006 copyright. So this is all older stuff. It comes with a card, it seems. We got uh, these limousines, also in the Players series. The 300C Hemi limousine, 2005 model. This is 2006 also. 2006 copyright for this Ford Excursion limousine. Um, I'm going to open up this one. Push blue. Because I want to have this, I want to have these loose. Doesn't really fit with the premium stuff, I know, but... We have the 2001 Chevy Suburban. Got uh, pretty nice wheels. I agree. It's got the taillights done and the emblems. They're not bad. And some silver paint in the front, it seems, but kind of hard to see. We got that military Humvee. I think I have one here too. Probably. Yeah, that's the same one. Ah, you mean the CG LCF, uh, Andre? The um, thumbs up. Yeah, pouce bleu. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Monaco. You're all, all also starting to speak uh, Dutch or write Dutch like uh, JK often does. That's uh, cool. Uh, you're all uh, investigating the Dutch language. That's, uh, that's cool. So uh, 
In a few months I will be able to do the videos in Dutch, so I don't have to stumble with my English anymore. <laughs> 1999 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Yeah, I know uh, you can use Google Monaco, Monaco that's... Uh, I figured that out. <laughs> Rats. What do you mean with rats, David Harper? You know JJ LCF? Of course I know JJ LCF. I've been watching him for years. I speak four languages and French is one of them, so I have no problem watching uh, YouTube channels in different languages. So, uh, and JJ also knows me. Well, JJ is just his. Uh, Nickname, his real name is uh, Gerard Fischer. Another language to learn. Hammer H2. So we saw it in red. And here's the Hammer H3T, or is it? Yeah, H3T comes concept from 2004, I think. Nothing wrong with your English. Thank you, Andre. I can't ain't talk English good even. <laughs> well, I sometimes notice that on uh, other ch channels of uh, English speaking people that they also stumble with their words sometimes. So I guess that's universal and not just for people who uh, are speaking in a different language. Any good diecast channels in German by any chance? Well, uh, there was one, but he uh, he quit. Well, there were several actually. Uh, thank you, Monaco. Um, there were several. There was Friesen diecast, but he quit years ago. Uh, and there was another one. I can't remember the name. Uh, I kind of had some contact with that guy, but for trades, but he was not very reliable with that. Uh, Quirky Garage, yeah, you speak French and English, I guess. Um, so yeah, not a lot of German uh, channels, that's that's right. Put the subtitles on some Aussie videos. Well, it's the same with the... Uh, I put the, the subtitles on, on the, um, an English channel. He also quit um, Count5, and that was really funny too. So yeah. Um, so let's see. Anything else someone wants to see opened up while we're at it? I'm kind of curious to look at this bus. Dresden Model Cars. Is that a YouTube channel, Andre? So this is uh, the Belgian Red Devils soccer bus. Count five, I don't know, man. He's uh, his his views kept going down and down. Uh, I kept watching him, but his views really tumbled down. And maybe he said it's not worth uh, worth doing the videos anymore if he had so little views. I don't know. You say Aussie like it's with all the different uh, different kinds of English, you know hood and bonnet and trunk and boot and oh man it's very complicated for us non-english people or non-english speaking people um, is there something interesting on the box here no not really uh, i missed your uh, chat uh, your comment facts okay so this is really screwed down I was not expecting that, but I have my uh, thingy here somewhere. It's a re really heavy bus. Does it fit? Yeah, it does seem to fit. I don't have any of the Grell uh, vehicles uh, service channel. I don't think they're 164. I'm not sure. I had to make Sure, no one thought I was referring to Ozzy Osbourne. <laughs> yeah, 
you only watch a few French diecast channels, Crooked Garage, yeah. Um, what's the other one? I got some good Majorette stuff. Um, oh, so bad at uh, remembering these names. Lumi or something like that. Lumi, Lumi TV. He's got uh, often the newest Majorette stuff. That's really cool too. 2014 production plastic base but metal body it's a fancy casting but uh, yeah it's pretty nice very heavy I think there's some plastic parts on here I think this is plastic but then this is all metal this is plastic obviously pimp my rise yeah that guess dude that is true so they often look like uh, custom ones I think I saw some Grell at, on the David Johns channel. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's very heavy, and it's got uh, it's got seats inside and stuff. So uh, petite voiture, petite voiture. I also know quick garage, but yeah. Not 164, so not really my thing. Mm, so, anything else someone wants to see? Kind of, yeah. This is about everything I wanted to open up in this video. If, uh, if that's okay for you guys, I'm going to call it a day. Yes. Belgian uh, football players are pretty good, that is true. The army pack. Divok Origi. <laughs> Chopper, Jeep, soldiers, truck and uh, a tank. So they come in, in uh, different colors. They come in green. So this is the same one. And they come in this white camouflage livery. So two uh, two different kinds. So you got the actually have the Hummer in three colors. So oh, not this one, this one, this one, and then I have to look for this one. Yeah. So these are the three different hummers I have I don't miss uh, football either Andre I'm not really into sports so yeah that's it for this video uh, sorry about the technical difficulties thank you Monaco Please give me a thumbs up if you liked it. It's important for the channel to help it grow. Um, so as always, I will try to do another one next week. It will be a premium brand again, Diecast brand. So I try to do a uh, basic one in one week and then a premium one the next week. Kind of uh, like that. Uh, Thanks again for watching everyone. We're again up to 26 viewers. That's cool. Most we had in the previous one was 30 before everything went away. Um, so, yeah. And uh, well, yeah, timing wise, I will try to announce them again like I did today, but only half an hour in advance today. I will try to do it earlier so that uh, some of you can uh, can prepare for that time-wise um, i know david harper harper it's very late for you i kind of did it to um, kind of cater for the american viewers also so uh yeah probably will be between have a great day everyone have a great sunday don't forget your mother uh, in those parts of the world where it's Mother's Day, like here. 
thank you all very much for watching. Thank you all for participating in the chat. And I hope to see you again next time. Bye-bye.